Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, I rise to speak on behalf of the opposition. I also rise as the first Australian of the Islamic faith elected to this House, the oldest parliament in Australia. Mr. President, I rise with a heavy heart. The events on the weekend deserve unconditional condemnation. I condemn all forms of extremism. I condemn the attacks on our police. Further, I condemn the involvement of children in those protests. The messages were abhorrent. They betray my faith. Those who truly study and worship in the Islamic faith are peace-loving and tolerant. The fact is, the events of the weekend were not representative of the half a million Muslims in Australia. I condemn the attacks on the Islamic faith and I also condemn attacks on all faiths. Mr. President, I arrived in this great nation as an 11-year-old from a tiny village in southern Lebanon. I attended Rockdale Public School, then James Cook High School, and studied law at the University of New South Wales. Australia changed my life. Mr. President, I correct that. Australia gave me a new life. That is why the events of the weekend have been condemned by Muslim leaders in all states and territories. Many Muslims in Australia feel that they have been, been unfairly marginalised ever since 9-11. As Australians, we must all live together and accept one another. We have worked hard to achieve what we have here today. Australia is the envy of the world and we must protect it. I thank the House. Yeah.